We're going to watch a simulation of NSP protecting assets during a north-south attack and an east-west attack. Notice that we have all instances that are part of this deployment located within the AWS environment. These instances include a virtual instance of the NSP IPS sensor or sensor which will detect the threat, the network security manager or the manager where we will be able to view alerts, a public web server which is the target of a north-south attack and a private database server which is the target of an east-west attack. We'll keep referring to this as a DB server. Both target machines have the McAfee virtual probe installed because remember that all machines that need to be protected by NSP must have the probe installed. A typical deployment of network security platform in an AWS environment consists of the virtual IPS sensor which has a single management console in manager. The virtual IPS sensor can be managed by a manager that is installed in the AWS environment or in an on-premise server whereby it connects to the AWS VPC through a virtual private network. The McAfee cloud controller that controls all activities of defined instances and NSP virtual probes managed by the controller which are installed on AWS instances. Notice that all protected EC2 instances have these probes installed on them. Probes can conveniently be integrated with any of the current deployment tools or scripts such as CloudFormation Template, Ansible, Puppet or Chef. When traffic destined for one of the instances of a VPC arrives from outside the network, it passes through a load balancer before reaching its destination. At this point, it's intercepted by the virtual probe and redirected to a virtual IPS sensor which scans it. After the sensor has determined reputation of the traffic, it allows or blocks it from proceeding just like any other NSP implementation, thereby giving you a very scalable enterprise class protection solution. Finally, apart from delivering real-time threat protection, virtual NSP correlates data from VPC flow logs, cloud trail, and vulnerability scan results from Amazon Inspector. Virtual NSP is a versatile solution which is able to protect instances in the event of an east-west attack. In this illustration, we notice that when traffic moves from one instance to another within the same availability zone of a VPC, it's inspected by the sensor, thereby protecting against an internal attack. This ensures that a compromised instance cannot be used to infect adjacent instances in the same availability zone. In the first scenario, we'll look at a span deployment of the virtual IPS sensor instance in which the sensor analyzes traffic and raises alerts of suspicious traffic. We'll begin by attempting a command.exe attack through a client browser against the web server. Notice that the attack is not blocked because the sensor is deployed in span mode. However, going to the manager dashboard shows us an alert raised. AWS allows you to create a security group which acts as a virtual firewall that controls traffic for one or more instances. You add rules to each security group that allow or deny traffic to or from its associated instances. However, you aren't able to control traffic originating from or destined to a country. With NSP, you're able to create firewall policies in the manager to block or allow traffic coming from or directed to a specific country. In this case, we've chosen the US to illustrate this example. To see how this works, let's look at a system that resides in an AWS setup in the US. We can confirm its location through an IP lookup. Through this machine, we'll attempt to access the web server IP. Now notice that we don't receive a response because the sensor has dropped the request. Evidence of this 
is seen when you log on to the sensor CLI and using a command are able to see a count of the packets dropped. In the next scenario, we'll begin by launching an attack that is a north-south attack on the web server. Right now in the manager, you'll notice that we have no alerts displayed. We'll launch a root.exe attack through a browser on the web server to show the north-south attack. You'll notice immediately that the attack was not successful. This is because the sensor is deployed in line with the web server. Going to the attack log in the Network Security Manager reveals details about the attack where you're able to determine that the attack was blocked by NSP. In the next segment, we'll launch an attack on the database server to show protection during an east-west attack. Notice again that the manager contains no alerts at this moment. To illustrate the attack, we'll connect to an AWS virtual machine through remote desktop and launch the attack on the DB server, which only contains a private IP address. We're going to launch a SQL injection attack, and like in the last segment, you'll notice that the attack is blocked by NSP. Going to the Manager dashboard displays an alert. Going to the Manager attack log, you're able to see details of this attack and a record that it was blocked. Through the attack log, you're also able to quarantine it for a specified period, so you can isolate that machine for a period of time that you can specify while you apply the necessary patches on it. In this way, you're able to ensure that a compromised instance does not infect any adjacent instances in the same availability zone. The ability of NSP to scale and effectively protect diverse environments such as AWS ensure that your organization is able to effectively protect assets that are on-premise and in the cloud for many years to come.